There are a lot of hurdle drills out there, but which ones should you be doing with your team? In this video, I'm gonna show you just that, but just as importantly, how you can incorporate those into your practices to build a championship squad. Hi, I'm Mike Hayton from Mace Method Coaching, and this is the third video in my coaching series. If you haven't seen the other two, I recommend you check them out as well. Drills have two purposes. The first is to teach the athletes' bodies how to do the actual motion properly, but also it's to prepare their bodies for their work ahead so they don't get hurt. With that being said, it makes the most sense to do it early in the practice as part of their warm-up progression before they do any full speed work. I like to keep it simple and part of the warm-up routine that we do at every hurdle session and also at meets. I'm gonna give you the highlights here, but if you wanna see the whole video, you can see that link in the notes below. After the general warm-up, we go into a hurdle-specific progression. We line up eight hurdles end-to-end -end and progress from walking to skipping to running. We start off with five activities that are primarily for hip mobility. We do walkovers, which are simulating the hurdle movement. We do stepovers, which is just stepping over alternating legs with each step. We do backward stepovers. We do a side-stepping drill where you skip over sideways. Then we raise every other hurdle to 42 inches for over and unders. Then we separate the tall hurdles, which will lower to 33 inches for the boys, and do a hanging trail leg drill and some skipping drills. The hanging trail leg drill is designed to improve the quickness over the hurdle. I have my athletes do a complete motion where they bring the trail leg down quick. Then we'll move on to skipping drills. We'll do a trail leg followed by a lead leg. Then we spread out the hurdles even further to do some running drills. In my opinion, this is where the biggest development happens because you're doing your drills while you're running. Everything else has been leading up to this. We'll do a trail leg drill and then a lead leg drill and then we'll go over the center of the hurdle. One of the goals for this is for them to learn how to go horizontal and just wrap their legs around the hurdles rather than going high up over it. Once they finish these drills, it's time to spike up and go into some full speed hurdling. I hope that helps. I have some other things that can help you like my hurdle training plan and also my ACE coach subscription where I can help you throughout your season. Both of them work great. You can check them out in the notes below. 